All right, so we're gonna try to do all this in one take, um, so I don't have to do any fancy editing or anything like that. So I'm in my 2021 uh, Taxa Cricut, and uh, just looking at the front panel right now, trying to figure out if I switch to lithium, what am I gonna have to do with the power center, and all those kinds of things. So this video, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like in the front, all tore apart. It uh, got a little interesting because while trying to film it, the first time I dropped my phone back there and then I had to pull everything apart just to get my phone back out. So if you ever drop anything in the back, it's not gonna be fun to try to uh, fish it out. Anyways, let me just go through this, show you what the front looks like. Maybe you're looking at doing the same thing or maybe you're just wondering what it looks like behind all the fancy wood. So this is what I've done so far. I want to zoom out here so you can just kind of take it all in. And uh, this is the battery compartment right here. You can put two batteries in here. Right now it just has one little uh, very uh, simple basic battery right here. I'm not going to try to... Uh, yeah, one battery. And then over here you've got your Truma system. We'll zoom into that. And up here you've got your power center, uh, which is what charges your batteries, provides power to the rest of the unit and whatever else not. And um, battery disconnect, a very simple voltage meter right here. And uh, the rest of this is just your basic uh, Texas Cricket stuff, how to turn on your lights, your fuses, your 12 volt plug-in and your USB connections. So over here, you can see this is the, the, um, the what do you call it? The hoses for the air and everything else to blow out of. And you can take those off, which is what I've done right now. And this is the trim panel that goes off to the front that you see when it's all, uh, you know, all prettied up and you just basically take it off by unscrewing it. So that's what it looks like from the back. It's easier if you take off the screws first and then kind of hang the wood piece down, reach out into the back, grab it, and then twist these off at the same time. That's how I did it. Um, as far as the battery panel down here, it's just a bunch of uh, thumb screws. So you just unscrew those. Here, same thing with uh, this upper section is uh, four Phillips screws. And you just kind of unscrew those and that's how you get in there. Uh, this is your Truma system. Uh, water heater and uh, furnace heater, I guess, all wrapped into one. Okay, and this is where your vents come out of. Your very simple battery. This has got to be like a Group 24 or something like that, but you can put a maximum of a Group 27 battery in here. And there's two spaces for that. I'll reach in the back here so you can see that. So that's the other slot for the other battery, and then you can connect them in parallel, not series. I, well, Parallel if you're doing lithium, I think. Don't quote me on that, actually. I'm going to need to research that a whole lot more. And this is just something else that's kind of plugged in here, so you're not going to have this cable. Um, so, let's see. That's that. And then that's what that looks like in there. Power center. We'll zoom in here so you can kind of see in case you're wondering what this looks like. And the model is a WF8740P. And this is just what comes in the 2021 Tax of Cricket, your fuse panels, and what they all relate to, if I can get the light to stop shining on that, yep. And then uh, the diagram over here, like that. And I'm going to twist this camera around, so you may have to flip your screen, but just so you can see the whole thing in one shot, uh, kind of looks like that. So that's that. Um, I got a Victron, uh, Victron monitor that I'm gonna to try to replace this with. So I'm wondering if I'm gonna to have to do anything fancy or if I just unplug the wires and plug that into the Victron, but we'll soon figure that out because I'm trying to understand exactly how much power I use so I can determine how much power I need to add. So it's not just a matter of adding all the lithium in the world, it's like, how much do I actually need? And this doesn't really tell me that, you know, cause that changes according to what you've got plugged in or what's going on. Um, so that's not really helpful at all. Uh, I'm going to give you a shot of what it looks like back here. So in case you are wondering. Okay, that orange cable right there is a 30 amp service coming into the trailer. And uh, that's the gas stove up there. And then here in the back is the power center. I want to go nice and slow so you can see it all. 
but you can also pause the video. So I'm going to go back fast. So this video is not too long. All right. And then down here, uh, underneath that is um, basically that's a battery box. And uh, it looks like that's a shunt up there. And uh, I think the Victron comes with its own shunt because that controls like your amperage or whatever else not. So that may need to be replaced. And honestly, I'm not even sure how I'm going to get over there. But that's for another story. Um, and that's what that looks like. All your plumbing lines and everything else. So that's honestly about that. Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot to it. So... Um, I'm going to conclude this video. I honestly don't want it to be long. I just wanted to kind of show you guys what that looks like back there. So like I always say, hopefully this helps somebody. And if it didn't, just remember that it was free and you didn't have to watch it.